Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Skudobuyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15W38B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. Uh, and uh, this is a little bit of a follow-up to uh, some of my videos on item elevators. I've been doing a little bit more experimenting. Um, uh, the community support for this has been a little bit overwhelming. I didn't, uh, didn't quite expect uh, the reaction that I've gotten so far, but all the feedback has really been wonderful. Um, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the caveats that I've found, uh, partly through uh, some user feedback. Um, the first big one is that this trick with the door, uh, sending items up, so uh, let me just drop, uh, drop an item in here so we can see how it works. Oh, <laughs> a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, over to the side there. Let me try again. There we go. Okay, and the door sends the item up. Um, this really only works for north-south orientations. Uh, if um, uh, the uh, stream of water is oriented east-west, uh, it doesn't work even if the door is placed uh, so it's oriented north-south. Um, there is a way to fix that by um, using a piston to push the glass block uh, or to, to push uh, the glass block over to where that uh, uh, pressure plate is, but that means moving the pressure plate down and it requires a little bit of extra re rewiring. Um, uh, so I'm going to be really only talking about this north-south orientation, which is the easy case. Um, the, the big advantage that this um, has, the big problem that this solves, is it makes sure that items go up at kind of a slow and steady pace uh, through the uh, glass elevator. Let's just see that again. All right, so they nicely, gently uh, uh, go up. Uh, and uh, you can do the same thing with droppers and pistons. Uh, but what happens is the item kind of gains velocity the higher it goes. Uh, so um, uh, you are going to need a large collection area uh, to make sure that the, the items aren't sort of phasing out through the, through the roof of your elevator. Uh, or you're going to have to do it in increments, uh, you know, go up a little bit, uh, short water stream, go up a little bit more, short water stream. Uh, so it is possible to do with the droppers and pistons. Um, the, the advantage, like I said, that the door has is it makes sure that um, the items don't have that accelerating velocity. So they have a nice, uh, slow, steady uh, pace all the way up to the collection point. Um, the problem with the door solution, uh, or trap doors also work as well, uh, the problem with the door solution is that um, uh, the, the items need to be regulated a little bit better. So this pressure plate down here, um, if you have got a constant stream of items coming across, the pressure plate is always going to be active, uh, the door is never going to close, uh, and so items will despawn <laughs> before, uh, before they get sent up. So um, this, uh, uh, this little uh, system here that I've got going, this is uh, uh, just kind of a double regulator. Uh, it's run by two sticky pistons that are uh, alternately pushing up uh, blocks of the, um, uh, of the ice line water stream. Uh, and I've got them alternating on uh, kind of a two-second delay, uh, a two-second delay. So um, they're um, up for two seconds, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, up for two seconds, down for two seconds. I think that's what it is. Yeah, because uh, this is a this is a four-second clock. So, uh, and, uh, and and I'm using this to regulate this, the items as they come into the uh, uh, door trap uh, door and pressure plate combination here. Uh, so what I've set up here is just a um, uh, just a, a dropper uh, that's going to spit out a whole bunch of items in a rapid pace, and I'm going to grab all of this stuff here. Uh, so what I want to simulate is uh, is kind of a moderately producing guardian farm. So I'm just going to throw all these items in here, and this um, this clock will cause the dropper to spit out items. Uh, at about uh, double the rate that a, a regular old hopper can handle, so so it's a pretty good volume of um, a pretty good volume of items. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that clock, and they're spitting out. And these uh, these pistons here are going to be regulating the flow uh, to make sure that the door has enough time to close on the items so that they go up. Uh, and this is actually pretty stable. Uh, <coughs> I've been running a, a number of trials on this. Uh, and I have yet to uh, to lose any items. 
Uh, it does require, however, that uh, I've got a clock down here with these uh, with these pistons going. Um, uh, this, is, of course, is possible. There's only one ra one way to regulate the flow. Um, I, I did this really just to demonstrate uh, that this technique is uh, is pretty stable as long as the flow of items over to the uh, pressure plate door combo uh, are uh, are regulated, kind of spaced out, and it's not very hard to do that. Um, uh, although it does uh, does require a little bit of wiring, it, it's possible to um, to have that kind of a, a kind of a delay built into a signal from this uh, pressure plate here or another pressure plate sort of earlier on in the stream. Uh, so it, it is possible to do that, um, and uh, when you do, um, uh, when the uh, stream of items is uh, is kind of bunched up, uh, so the door is only hitting bunches at a time. Uh, this actually works really, really well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, um, but like I said, it is limited to north-south orientations. Um, uh, if I, uh, I'll put a, a note in the uh, in the description of this video to uh, the user who pointed that out to me. I can't remember uh, who it was, but if you're having difficulties with uh, this system, make sure that you check your orientation because it really only does work in north-south orientations. Uh, uh, let's see. I, th I think that's uh, uh, that's all I wanted to uh, say for this video. I'll, I'll keep investigating to see if there are any other uh, any other tricks. Um, uh, and uh, like I said, thank you very much for all the uh, all the good feedback about this. It uh, was a little bit overwhelming for me. I didn't uh, really expect <laughs> uh, expect people to be uh, so interested in this, but I, I guess these uh, these elevators are really really popular. So. Um, uh, it's uh, yeah uh, okay and uh, that's it so I think that uh, <laughs> all the items uh, got dispensed out uh, this uh, this dropper is empty and uh, everything made it up the <laughs> the it's uh, not everything is in the chest here because like I said I was spitting out items at double the rate that a hopper can handle so uh, but everything did make it up uh, you can see that there's nothing stuck down here by the door there's nothing stuck in the stream um, so as long as the items are regulated in their flow to this uh, uh, to this pressure plate door combo, uh, this seems to be really really stable uh, at least in uh, north south orientations. Uh, that's it then for this video. Um, if you have any more questions or comments, uh, please leave a note. Uh, I I will try to respond to all the user feedback that I've gotten so far. Uh, thanks again very much, uh, and uh, thank you for watching.